No. Three days later, not the next day. Listen. Sorry. I hate, I hate <laughs> this thing. Don't interrupt him. Sorry. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Carlos Ayala says when car model Monique Howard sat on the hood of his sports car to pose for a photo, she left a dent. Monique says she's not responsible because she had Carlos's permission to sit on the car. Mr. Ayala. Yes. You think that she should be responsible for all these damages do to I your car? Do I feel that I should be responsible? That she should be. Yes, I do. Well, you're wrong. You want to know why, sir? Yes, I do. If she had sat on your car without your permission, mm -hmm. she would be totally responsible for the damage to your car. Right. You are supposed to be an intelligent man. Mm -hmm. If somebody asked me if they could sit on the hood of my car, and if I said sure, and if they damaged the hood of my car, whose fault would that be? Well, considering the f may, may, if I may make a statement, yeah. there was two models that sat on the car. Uh -huh. First of all, the other model did not dent the car, which yeah, was... Maybe she was thinner. Which was what she asked me Just for. Just a second. Maybe she was thinner. Yeah, actually, she was very much thinner. Well, then, sir. Right, but look, I'm not... Look, you use your eyes. Right. You look at one model who's thinner. If my two-month-old grandchild was on the hood of my car, mm -hmm. and if my <clears> nine-year-old <throat> grandson, Casey, sat on the hood of my car and I said it was okay, and if Casey damages the hood of my car, that's my fault because he's nine years old and weighs more than a two-month-old baby. So if you look at these two women and she's a little heftier mm -hmm. and you tell her it's okay to sit on the hood of your car because you wanted your right. car in some sort of a magazine, why should she pay for it? That's an incorrect statement there. I didn't ask her to take the shot for my purpose. Doesn't make any difference. Second. She asked you if she could sit on the hood of your car. Right. Well, You're a fool to have said yes. <laughs> You're a fool. Well, considering that I'm not a weight trainer and I'm not an expert in that field, I wouldn't be able to make a professional... I want to tell you something. I'm not a weight trainer. And exactly. I'm not an expert in that well, field. And I have... wouldn't let anybody sit on my car. You think that if this guy said to me, Judge, I want to take a picture on the hood of your car. Right. Could I take a picture on the hood of your car? And he sat on the hood of my car and the hood went to the pavement. <laughs> that I... That I would say, it's his fault? No, sir. It's my fault, because I was the idiot. Okay. You understand what I'm saying to you? This well, lady, looking exactly like she did, said, I want to sit on the hood of your brand new, expensive, rimmed car from Germany. From Germany. American and made. you said, sure. <laughs> and then she sat on your car, and according to you, she dented it. Mm -hmm. And you think that that's her fault. Not, uh, oh. uh, not entirely. <laughs> Dismissed. Why did you excuse? Step out. Mm. Out the back door to your right, please. <laughs> and now the next case. Parties on Jackson versus Mitchell. Step forward. 31-year-old student Adam Jackson is suing his former roommate Lorraine Mitchell because she refuses to return his 1985 El Camino. All right, I don't think this is very complicated. 